what's up and welcome back to another weekly vlog it's been a pretty busy past month and a half going on like two months now and i really honestly feel like busy is like an understatement because there's been so much going on and we finally reached a month where we don't have any more guests coming for the remainder of the year i pretty much think everybody was coming to visit us like from the beginning of this year all the way up until now. It's been great, it's been really, really lovely having family um, here, but we are tired. I finally have time to sit down, get back into the groove of things, so yeah, here I am. One thing that I'm super excited to share with you guys is that I started a garden. I finally started the garden that I've always wanted to start it since I was a little girl. It's just been something that I've always dreamt of doing. Like when I get a house, I was like, I just wanna have a garden outside and pick, pick and grow all of my fresh fruit and veggies and just eat them, make meals with them. So yeah, when my dad was out here visiting, um, he helped us start our garden. So we, I've been trying to maintain and keep up with that and I'm learning literally as I'm going. There's so many things with gardening, oh my gosh. I can't even begin to explain, but there's so much stuff, <laughs> so many things to learn. And it's a bunch of trial and error and patience, okay? Um, and also I've been quite shocked at how fast everything is growing, to be honest. It's growing so, so fast. But another thing is, I also have a lot of new updates that I need to go over with the house. I don't know if I'm gonna do it right now, but you can kind of get a peek into behind me. So clearly we have couches. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that in previous videos that I've done. Yeah, we have furniture that I wanna show. I may do that in a separate video. I haven't really decided yet. So if you don't see it in this vlog, that's because it's gonna be in its own video. Um, but yeah, we have house updates that we need to go over. I also have this thing. So if I look like I'm talking a little bit funny, I don't know if I look like I'm talking funny, but it's because I'm having issues with my wisdom tooth on my right side. So I was swollen for like a few days. It actually just um, cleared up like yesterday. It looks like a little bit, but there's like a small little bulge. Let me tell you, I have been in pain the past few days. It kind of settled down today because I've been taking antibiotics. I went to the dentist and everything and they checked me out. Y'all, I was way swollen after leaving the dentist than I was before I went in. I mean, I was already swollen, but it got worse because they were up in there poking around, you know, irritating it. But long story short, my wisdom tooth is trying to erupt back here on my right side and I need to get it taken out. But I was so swollen, you guys. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will take you guys along with me during the process of when I get them removed. That's another thing that I've been dealing with. Um, so yeah, just a quick little life update for you guys really quickly. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I have missed out. Oh yeah, duh. I took a girls trip to Miami for my friend's bachelorette, bachelorette party or bachelorette weekend. It was really, really fun. And I also posted about it on Instagram that was literally the girls trip I did not know that I needed um, so much so I had cried at the ending of the trip it was so refreshing and I really needed that and sometimes as a wife and as a young mom um, and you know a stay-at-home mom at that I'm with my kids and I'm with my husband 24 7 so I literally hadn't felt or I can't even remember what it felt like to just be out having so much fun with other women or other girls that it was just like literally a breath of fresh air and I had such a good time um, so yeah and Miami was definitely like Miami it was definitely what I was expecting it to be but kind of not I'm sure my husband would love it in Miami but I'm just more of like take me somewhere that's like out of the country you know it's definitely people and women women in bikinis walking around guys in their swimsuits walking around 24 7 in bikinis and just everybody just partying walking around with drinks in their hands and it's just definitely that vibe another thing is we got our fence delivered um it actually will be going up this week but yeah i just wanted to start the vlog off giving you guys like a quick little life update and give you guys like a quick recap of what's been going on this past month and a half 
almost two months oh my gosh I would look at my analytics on YouTube and it would tell me how many days like exactly since my last upload and I'd just be looking at it like <laughs> we're free of rain the kids toys are out there we were outside and as you guys can see over there is a few of my little seeds that I have started and then on the corner you can see some of the raised bed that I started here shy shy messing with my things <laughs> this is my seed starter tray I actually just got this on Amazon for the garden and then this is my little gardening bag I also got this on Amazon too I also have my little gardening hat Shiloh sat on it, <laughs> but I have a gardening hat that I use when I'm outside to keep me covered from the sun because <laughs> it be hot as heck outside. Also, if you're gardening or thinking of starting a garden, please do not feel like you have to start everything from scratch because, or at least from seed, because I felt like that. But my dad, he was like, it's okay to buy things that are already at the store, you know, and then you can grow from that. So I have a few things like that, like my jalapeno, it was from the store, but it started off very small. Um, so I have my jalapeno, and then I have a red bell pepper that started from the store. Um, my green beans, they are from seed, and my cucumbers are from seed, and I also have tomatoes. Yeah, we also have blueberries, and we have blackberries. Blackberries are flourishing. We've also already harvested some um, from there as well, and they taste so good. Also, the jalapenos, y'all. True, true, organic, homegrown jalapenos do not taste like the ones that are inside the store. That is a real disclaimer, because it is so spicy. And I'm okay with spicy food, but it, and let me tell you, when we were eating them, I had made homemade nachos and they were so bomb by the way but i picked up a chip from the nachos and it had a little jalapeno on it i only opened my mouth and it touched my lip just a little bit and i licked my lips and my mouth was on fire so that's pretty much what i have outside right now
It's like a puffy sleeve, um, short sleeve, and it's really, really cute. And I got a new bag. It's so cute. This was a happy buy. It's a feminine product. These high-waisted mom jeans, but they have like flowers on them, and they're like fall colors. So I thought that was that was really cute. I've never seen anything like this. Um, <laughs> But they're my vibe, so I'm gonna try them on and see if I like them. And if I do, I'll keep them. But if not, I'll probably just return them. Okay, this is the only fall decor. I, I wouldn't really say it's decor, but I got this from Target and I'll show you guys. It's more so of a cooking thing. Um, it's a pot, but it's a pumpkin. <laughs> and I thought it was so cute. It's like brown at the bottom. And then the rest is like a cream ivory color. And I thought this was so cute. You can use it as decor or you can really use it as a pot um, or do both. And you can just have it sit on your stove during the fall season. Even if you're not using it, it just has a cute little piece of decor. I need more hangers because all the clothes we got needed more hangers. So I, I love these Bright Room um, velvet hangers. They're the best. I really, really like them. I got some stuff for D3's room. Um, and I told you guys he has like a dinosaur theme going on. So we got this and it says RAR. <laughs> so cute. I have this idea in my head where I want to get like a set of dinosaurs for him or even just his dinosaurs that he plays with on a regular basis and put them like on a little stand for him so that he can see them all and then pick them if he wants and then put them back when he's done. I don't know if I want to do it with his dinosaurs or if I want to do it with these kind of dinosaurs that I got. So I got these. Here's T-Rex, <laughs> the orange, this one. Here's all three of them together. It's cute. So I was looking all over, even on Amazon, for knobs, like dinosaur knobs, but they didn't have pretty good reviews. So I was like, let me just go to Hobby Lobby and see if they have dinosaur knobs, and they did. They're more like realistic fossil type of knobs, and I like that. They're really cute. All the detail on them, like you can see the teeth, the eyes, it literally looks like, like a fossil. <laughs> Got these, and I don't think they come with batteries. I believe I have to put them. Yes, nothing comes with batteries anymore. I got two little posters or wall arts um, for D3's room. This one, it says, always be yourself unless you can be a dinosaur, then always be a dinosaur. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. And then I got one more that I'm planning to put next to it and it's this cool dinosaur. That's pretty much everything that I got from Hobby Lobby that I can show you. This is what it sounds like in a house with two tablets, bright and early. They're over there running back and forth, playing. <laughs> to show you guys my little garden that I have going on. These are my tomatoes, which I actually need to prune. And here are our blackberries and they're growing beautifully. They've actually grown a lot. Over here is my lemon balm that I can use this for tea and it smells 
so so good you guys this is my first raised bed i need to work on the other one i just haven't really had the time but this is cucumber here is my green beans that are just like taking over this is my jalapenos I have also harvested lots of jalapenos off of here. This is zucchini, guys, and it's gotten so, so big. Just so that you can have a reference, are much bigger than my hand, okay? And then over here is another cucumber making its way downtown. Over here is um, bell pepper. And then I have one right over here. This is red bell pepper, guys. And then over here are all of my little newbies. So here's parsley that I have. And then this one is mint. This here is the green bell pepper that I grew from seed. And then this one is the other green bell pepper that I grew. These are Brussels sprouts, you guys. So I need to transplant all of these. Um, and then this one is the um, tomato that I grew from seed as well from actually a tomato off of here so yeah everything is growing so lovely right now i'm just working with what i have so i'm really excited about all the growth and stuff that is happening oh i didn't show you guys these ones over here so let me show you one of my gardening fails listen like i told you guys it takes a lot of patience and there's a lot of trial and error in gardening this was one of my fails <laughs> <laughs> she didn't survive. We just have two stems that are literally still hanging on. This one is the pink lemonade blueberries and they're literally pink blueberries, y'all. Um, it had some that were already on there. Shiloh took them and ate them. So <laughs> these are the only two that are still left. That's my little garden. I'll show you guys. Tell me where to go. Tell me where to go.